So this is the answer to the first example about Mr. Adams, and then we're going to go through the volunteer service hours example. All right. Uh, Mr. Adams made a box and whisker plot of the quiz grades in his third period math class, and we can see that 28 students are in the class. Uh, the smallest or lowest grade, I should say, is a 58, and the highest grade somebody got was a 96. The number right there in the middle, if this is 75, it'd be 76, 77. This lower quartile is a 70, and this 75, 76, or sorry, excuse me, 85, 86 is the upper quartile. All right, uh, for the first question, we want to know what percent of the data is between the lower quartile and the upper extreme. So between the lower quartile and the upper extreme is that part, so 75% of the data. Okay? All right, what percent of the data is below the upper quartile? So if this is the upper quartile, we want to know what percent of the data is below that. So once again, 75%. What percent of the data is above the upper quartile? So above the upper quartile is that 25%. What percent of the data is between the lower and upper quartile? So the lower quartile and the upper quartile is the box part, which is 50%. Now for this next part, the interquartile range is just the range between the two quartiles. So we have this 86, and then we have the lower quartile is 70. So we just subtract those two and get the interquartile range is 16. So that lets us know how far apart what the range is for 50% of the data. If half of the data is there, you want to consider the spread to just kind of see how far a spread or how close together that 50% of the data would be. And so here we can see that 50% of the kids, there's a range of 16 points. So it's a pretty big range um, when you're considering that half the, the kids scored in there. All right. Uh, what percent of the students scored at least an 86 on the test? So at least an 86 would be this part right here, which is a fourth, so 25% of the data. What percent of the students scored less than a 70 on the test? So 70 or less right there, that'd be 25% of the data. Now for this next question, it's asking how many students earned a B or a C? So somewhere in the 70s or 80s. So anywhere in the 70s or 80s on the number line is up there in blue. But right here, we don't know out of this group of kids, like the kids who scored in this range, we don't know if like all of them scored above a 90 or if like one of them scored below a 90. We just know that a fourth of the data is represented in this section from 86 to 96. So we actually have no idea what the scores look like. And so we cannot determine because it goes beyond this quartile right here, we can't determine how many kids are in that section. Now, if I asked how many kids scored between a 70 and an 86, which means now I'm focusing on just this box, that would be 50% of the kids, and 50% of the class would be 14 students. But because the range we're asking about extends beyond the box, we cannot determine this information. All right, and now for the last question, how many students earned between, um, sorry, it should just say how many students failed the test, got below a 70. So how many students got below a 70? It's going to be anybody in this category. So these students, so a fourth of the class. And what is 25% of 28? So a fourth of 28 just divided by four, we get seven students. Okay? All right, now down here, the range of the data, so you have the biggest number 27 minus the smallest number 13, so that would be the range of 14. The lower quartile is this 16.5, while the upper quartile is this 23. And so the interquartile range is just subtracting right there. You just want to know the range of the box, so we get a 6.5. Um, how many students volunteered between 16.5 and 23? So what percent is represented in that box? 50%. What percent of students volunteered at least 23? So 23 or more. That's going to be that 25% of the data. What percentage of the students volunteered at most 23? So that's going to be this group and smaller this way. So that's going to be these three quartiles or 75%. And for the last question, it asks how many students volunteered between 20 and 27. So 20 to 27 is here, which would be those two sections. So 25 and 25, we get 
and it tells us that we have 120 students volunteered overall. So if 120 students volunteered, 50% volunteered in that range, so 60 students volunteered in that range. And that concludes this video. Thank you.